Hey guys, this is Magic here, and it's time for another Overlooked But Awesome card. This is one of my personal favorites. It is in, uh, or at least it was in one of my decks. I'm actually not sure why it's not still in one of my decks. I'll have to reanalyze that. It's in one of Lucky's decks, though, and that's why I thought of it again. Um, this card is sheer power. I mean, this is, when you just look at it and think about what it does, it is hyper-powerful in modern. I mean, it's crazy how good this card is. And get this, it was from a somewhat unpopular set, I guess you could say, uh, and it's only about 50 to 75 cents a card. So, I mean, if you're like, oh my gosh, I love this card, at least this time around it's not like $200. Now, slight disclaimer, this may have been in one of the past videos, but um, I made the brilliant decision to be lazy and not keep a list of these, because I thought maybe this would be a 10-part series. Yeah. Whoops. So sometime when I have, I don't know, 6,000 minutes, I believe it would be, I'll go back and watch all of them and make a list. <laughs> okay, it wouldn't really take that long. I'm just lazy as hell. So pardon if this is a repeat. I'll go make a list when I have time. So coming in as an uncommon from the Rise of the Eldrazi is Emerge Unscathed. I absolutely love this card. So for one white as an instant, target creature you control gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn, and then it has rebound. So rebound, if you're not familiar, which, I mean, hello, that was in like FRF or something, or dragons, I don't remember. Um, if you cast the spell from your hand, exile it as it resolves. At the beginning of your next upkeep, you may cast this spell from exile without paying its mana cost. Now, I'm sure I'm going to miss one thing, but um, there's a couple rules relating to protection from, uh, we'll say, colors. I mean, you can have protection from vampires, protection from flyers, protection from creatures, protection from players, but it's almost always pro colors. So um, here's how pro colors work. We'll say you choose red. So assuming that the spell resolves, now uh, you cannot take damage from a red source of any kind, a red planeswalker, red spell, red creature, red anything. Um, you cannot be blocked by a red creature. You cannot be the target of an ability or a spell from a red permanent or red spell, so red source. Also, any red auras that are attached to that creature now fall off. I think that's everything. So, if you were to cast this on a, a really big, like, double strike creature, we'll say, and they have a whole row of green or at least mixed green creatures, they're still considered green permanents, and you can just say pro green and sail right past them. They are not allowed to block. Now, if they're targeting you with a lightning bolt, which is a red spell, you could, on the stack, throw emergence scathed up there. Ta-da! You've got pro red, your spell resolves first, and then theirs goes off and targeting fails at resolution time, and their spell is countered. Now, speaking of uh, countering spells... Um, this is basically a one-cost turn aside, we'll say, except in white. So it's basically a counter spell for anything that targets, well, not one of your permanents, but one of your creatures, so it's a little bit weaker. But that rebound, oh my gosh, especially if you're using it to hit the opponent. If all they have is one color or mixed color blockers, including one color, you just pick that color and sail right past them, like I said. So then, during your next upkeep, same thing. Best thing is, when you cast it, you only have to pick the color at resolution time, and when you cast it again, you can pick a completely different color. So, as soon as they target one of your creatures with anything, you just throw this on the stack above it and say, oh no, that color, and then targeting fails, and congratulations. Now, if there was a red card like Anger of the Gods, which is three damage to all creatures on the field... Um, it does work, It the spell does hit the creature because it's not targeting, it's like a mass spell, it's, it's considered an untargeted spell. So, then you go to, okay, take three damage, oh wait, I can't take damage from a red source, so I actually still don't take damage. So yes, the spell effectively hits my creature, but it does nothing. Now, there are all kinds of versions of this Blessed Breath, um... Uh, God's Willing, I mean, Feet of Resistance, but it costs two. And they add all kinds of little side effects that like God's Willing, you get to scry one, oh boy. Um, and in some cases, that's better. But this rebound ability, I mean, this makes this by far the best one. There was a version of this printed very recently in Standard uh, that was a two-cost pro colors with rebound. Uh, but this is the same exact card for one. I mean, you can't get much better than that. 
Now, the deck that I briefly had this in had uh, Heroic, so every time that a creature is targeted, it gets a plus one, plus one counter on it. Uh, so yeah, you get to target it twice. Rebound. I mean, it's a full second cast with a full second target. It is very, very, very common to use this like the card Mana Tithe, where it's like the only legitimate white counter spell, but that card is crap. Um, so I would run this instead. I mean, if your creatures keep getting blown up, this is kind of like the Ranger's Guile of white. And a lot of people overlook it. I mean, people have heard of Ranger's Guile and all the different clones of it. Blossoming Defense is a better version. People have heard of Turn Aside and Negate and all that. Um, I don't think Red has anything like that. They probably do. I just don't know it. But like, this is the I'm going to stop you, but it has the side effect of, oh, I'm going to kill you. My creature's now effectively unblockable. The only perpetual shortcoming is it says target creature you control. As far as I've seen, there are no protection from color spells that uh, can affect your opponent's creatures. If they did, it would be hilarious because then they can no longer target it with those abilities or colors. I mean, it affects everybody. It's like how Shroud works as opposed to Hexproof. Also, like I said, it makes colored auras fall off, which is hilarious. I would assume it unequips colored equipment too, but I'm not 100% sure. You could also use this to ambush where, um, oh, they, they blocked you, your 1-1 one, one death toucher, and they blocked with a 5-5. Five, five. Ha ha ha, you just prevented damage. And that's the thing. If you make a creature indestructible, it still takes the damage. So if your opponent, uh, their creature had lifelink, they will gain life. If you were to cast uh, protection from and then the color of the creature, uh, it fails to do damage at all in the first place. So that would actually prevent lifelink. So there's just a ton of utility, and it's a one-cost instant. Plus, you get to cast it twice. I mean, I just, I love this spell. It's dirt cheap, it's an uncommon, it's easy to find. You can get it in foil, and it looks freaking amazing. Definitely check out this card, or at the very least, put it in your sideboard if your white deck keeps getting its creatures blown up. Hopefully you can find a place in one of your decks for this card, and I'll see you guys next video.